Deceptive advertisements that promise to help you lose weight are everywhere, and some lawmakers in Washington are tired of it. They held a hearing today and grilled a popular TV show host accused of contributing to the problem. CBS 2's Jerika Duncan has the details. Uh, and you are being made an example of today because of the power you have in this space. Senator Claire McCaskill and, and criticized Dr. Mehmet Oz for using his television fame to promote weight loss aids. It's called Yacon Syrup, C. Buckthorn. And now I've got the number one miracle in a bottle to burn your fat. I don't get why you need to say this stuff because you know it's not true. I, I actually do personally believe in the, in the items that I talk about in the show. I, I passionately study them. That in an intent to engage viewers, I use flowery language. I used language that was very passionate. It's called Sensa, the amazing new clinically proven sensation. Both Sensa and Pure Green Coffee have been fined by the Federal Trade Commission for false ad claims. Dr. Oz says companies like Pure Green Coffee often use clinical from his show without his permission to promote a product. He says the biggest mistake he's made is not telling viewers who to trust. I should have been savvy enough to say to myself, and I kick myself still, maybe I'll do it in the future, that I should just say, here are the companies I trust. Just go buy their products because they're not going to scam you. They're not going to make illegal claims. Dr. Oz told the Senate subcommittee he will be part of the solution. He maintains that he has never endorsed specific brands, nor has he received money for the sale of any supplements. In New York, Jerika Duncan, CBS 2 News. Well, Dr. Oz promised to publish a list of specific products he thinks can help America shed pounds and get healthy.